In the last video, we looked at expressions that only contained numbers. This time, we're going to look at all of the expressions that have variables or numbers, variables and numbers, things like that. And remember, from before, when we had our 5 squared equals 25 and our minus 5 squared equals 25, we can do the same thing with x equaling x squared being x squared or minus x squared being x squared. The point here is we don't know whether the x is positive or negative. But when we square root it, we need to force it to be positive. Remember, we always return the p principal square root, which is the positive square root. And the only way we can do that is when we take the square root of x squared, that gives us the absolute value of x. So, for example, suppose we have the square root of 16x squared. Well, we can look at this, and th what we square to get 16 is 4, what we square to get x is x, we have square root of 4x squared, which becomes the absolute value of what's in parentheses, 4x. Since the 4 and the x are only connected through multiplication, we can actually separate that to 4 times the absolute value of x. And here is our answer. So we can only pull numbers out of an absolute value if they are being multiplied. If that was 4 plus x or x plus 4, we'd have to leave it inside because it's connected by a time sign. Only factors come out. Well, let's look at some more examples. Suppose we have the square root of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. The problem here is that there's three terms and they're connected by plus signs. So we can't deal with them separately like we could with a 16 and the x squared. Instead, we're going to factor. 4x squared is a perfect square of 2x. 1 is a perfect square of 1. 2x times 1 is 2x. 2x times 2 is 4x, so this turns into the quantity 2x plus 1 squared. Since I'm square rooting something with a variable that's been squared, we take the absolute value of 2x plus 1, and we're done. Now, we can't pull this 2 out because the x is connected by that plus 1. So if it's a factor, the whole thing is a factor, nothing comes out. If they're separate factors, then we can remove a factor. Okay, what if we change the variable? What if we go y to the 6th? Well, is 6 a perfect square? Yes. What's it a perfect square of? 3. So this becomes the square root of y cubed squared, which is y cubed inside of absolute values. And so the entire trick here when you have variables is to accurately and correctly figure out what's been squared, pull it out, and keep the, absolute, the variable and any terms associated with the variable in absolute values.